Welcome to HIT. I'm Jamie Shefke. I get the opportunity to lead you through this workout. If you are new to exercise, please always consult a physician before starting. If anything causes you pain or just doesn't feel good for you, please take a different option that I provide you or whatever feels best for your body. We have 45 second intervals that we'll be working with today with the active rest in between as well as progressive movement. So you always start with one exercise and then it will change to get a little bit higher intensity. You know you can always stay with the first exercise. Let's get started with our warm up, jogging in place. Checking in with our body, how we feeling? Inhale through the nose, out through that mouth. We'll take those arm swings, open and close, cross and open. Just feeling that chest expand, squeezing the shoulder blades to warm up that back. Good. Let's keep those arms out to the side. Find some arm circles or warming up that shoulder joint. They certainly will support us with some burpees and things like that. Try sit dips. All the good stuff. Opposite direction. Tall spine. Good. From here, let's emphasize your butt kicks. So arms come back to your side. Heels towards the glute. We can always... Step, tap, side to side. Okay, but again, whatever serves you. Warming up, getting that blood flowing. A few more seconds here. We're just gonna lengthen our levers and going into gears right here. Switch jump. Then those inner thighs start to activate. Again, you can always step, tap back here. A few more. We'll work into those knee pulls next, activating our core. Hands are going to reach overhead. Three, two, one. Pull, pull. Yeah, reach and pull down. You got it. Pull those elbows right into your side. From here, jump, beam, jacks. Let's go. Jack, jack. Or side step. Inhale the nose, out to that mouth. Doing great. We're going to take a wide squat, two hops in the middle. You can always step out. Four, three, two, wide. We go out and hop together. Out, hop together. Step together. Step together. Good. Warming up those thighs because we got squats in that first round. Doing great. Four, hop, hop, three, hop, hop, two, hop, hop. One, gonna bring back to that squat, hold. You can bring your feet a little bit more. Pulse, pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Stand tall, reach opposite hand to foot. Stretch out that hamstring for me. You're also using that core to lift that leg up. I'm rotating that arm up and over. That's it, a few more. One more each side. Good. From here, just make sure you got some space. You're going to walk it out to that plank position. Shoulders right over your wrist. Mountain climber, side to side. Pull, pull, pull. We'll have these at the end of class. I just want to get that core warmed up. A little extra cardio. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Walk your back. Roll it up. Finish with another round of jumping jacks. Here we go. Jack, jack. Good. Finish up that warm up here. Feeling warmer than when we started. Shorter warm up with that shorter class. We're together for 30 minutes total. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Shake it up. First move, 45 seconds. You're gonna go squat, kick, alternate. You can hold the weight at your chest if you'd like, or squat, knee drag. Okay, and then we're gonna progress from there. Second move, squat jacks, in and out. Okay. Let's do it. Ready? Squat kick. We go squat, kick. You can guard your face, kick. 45 seconds, as I mentioned, so it's a little bit longer. Face yourself. Or shorten that lever. Work that knee drive side to side. You can even press the hands back if you'd like there. Knees over the ankles, sit back into that squat. We're getting that longer lever. Sit back, kick forward. Sit back, kick forward. Inhale. Exhale that right. Find that target. Hit it every time. 
Doing great. Eyes up, chest up. Finish it here. You'll have that active rest in between. I just want you to keep moving by the best step tap. Two, one. Now next, time under tension. Out and out and you can always step side to side. Okay, you got this. Five seconds. It's go time. Another 45. Two, one. Here we go. Out in, out in. Again, you want to pick up the intensity level. You could hold a weight here at your chest. Always an option. I wouldn't make it too heavy because it's a jumping movement. Good. Out, squeeze in. Out, squeeze in. Still on your mind full, but the knees are checking line with those toes. Or side, or side. Starting to feel that burn already, right? We're going to add on for our next one after this. We're going to add with a squat jump of our feet. Okay? Well, you can always do these first two exercises if that serves you better. Knowing you got 10 seconds. Can you pick up that pace? Out and in. Out and in. Stay low. Woo All the way. Two. One. Nice job. Step tap. Catch your breath. Next. Hands plant. Hop back or step back to your plank. Come up. There's your squat jump and you land in the squat. Come back to the burpee. We're ready. Getting harder. Let's go. Hands plant. Have a step back to that plank. Hop in. Squat jump. Land in the squat. Right back to your burpee. Nice work. What am I looking for? Okay. Shoulders right over that wrist. Belly right button pulls that spine. So you can break it down with a step back. You can also do a calf raise at the top if you don't need that jump this morning. See how many you can do. All the way. 15 seconds to go. Come on. Push it right here. Final second. Try to get another one in. Five to go. And one. Press. Nice job. Now, the last one, we're going to get time and attention with the burpee. So, you hop back, you hop in, two hops. I try to stay low there. Your thighs will talk to you. <laughs> Let's go. Hands plant, hop or step back, hop in, drop your butt, little pop, pop. Pop, pop. Or step back, back, in, in. You can do two pulses. Yep. Here comes the time under tension once again. We want a little bit more high to low yet in the burpee. Those are those wrists. Now, once you get the movement down, can you go a little faster? But still keeping that solid form. 15 seconds to go. All the way. I'm right here with you. Let's see what you're made of. Hop, hop, under 10. Push it, you're almost on your first set. Three, two, one. Grab a drink. Nice job. Here's your recovery. We start a new set. So on this next one, you're going to go more lower body. Okay, so it's going to be a squat, curtsy, squat, alternate curtsy, side to side. Goal is to try not to stand up in between, but you certainly can. Okay, from there, we're going to get some cardio, lateral movement, skater, hop, skater, hop. So you're working that balance. Last one, you're going to skater. You're always going to do a burpee on the same side. And then the last one, you'll do it on the other. Okay? Let's give it a try. So first, curtsy with the squat. Get set. Knees in line with the toes. Let's find my space here. Squat. Curtsy. Squat. Alternate curtsy. Could you hold the weight here if you wanted? Certainly. That way right here at your chest, side to side. Or you're working on that range of motion. If you're reaching for that floor or the shin, just keep your chest up here. Eyes up, chest up, so you're not leaning too far into it. Yeah, you got it. You're doing so good. I'm going to come towards you on the side. Center. When I come back to that squat, my knees are still over my ankles. All spine. You're under 15. Could you get lower? Of course you can. You're capable of anything. You're capable of hard things. A few more. Dig in. And... Rest. All right, we got that skater hop. So I hop over. The inside leg is the knee that drives, okay? If you want to just stick to normal skaters, you certainly can do that too. Three, two, one. Here we go. Skater, up, 
skater. Up. You can take it a little bit behind you, then up. Okay. All the way. Good balance work here, which brings in core work for sure. Once you got it, there you go a little quicker. Again, if you don't want that hot, you can work just those skaters side to side. Okay. What do you need today? Go up, give your best effort. Now you got 10 seconds. Could you jump higher? Could you go a little quicker? Final seconds. Keep going, keep going. Two, one. Okay, we're going to skater over to the side, burpee on this side. Now remember your modification or different variation for burpee. You can do a squat, lunge, squat, stand. Always the outside leg going back. Here we go. Slice skater, come back, burpee. And in. Again, skater, back, burpee. Now, when you're doing that burpee, you can try a single leg burpee. Again, outside leg. So you're here, you can hop back with one foot, hop in with one foot. Really, you can feel that a lot in those hamstrings. Lots of core work. Okay, just an option. 15 seconds to go. Come on. You know how long or how hard you got to work. Is that 45 seconds. Another one in. Get low. Final seconds. Two, one. So on the other side, again, you skate her over. Come back. You're taking the different option for the burpee squat. Outside leg, lunge, hop. Or if you're taking the single leg burpee, Outside leg. Ready? Here we go. Get that movement pattern down first, right? Over. That's plant. And then, try to get those hands flat on that floor. I'm telling myself that. I tend to pop my hands a little bit there. Yeah, maybe have a little bit of a hang time there. Can you try the single leg? Why not try, right? You never know until you try what you're capable of. High to low. Yeah. Hold that skater just for a second. Time to turn to go. Finish it up. All the way. Another burpee in and done. Nice job. Okay. Throw in some cardio kickboxing moves. So this first one, it just wants you to focus. See all those light burning your knees. Jab, jab, hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut. Back and forth between those three, okay? Each side. Then we're gonna get strength in it. You're gonna hold the lunge, uppercut, so like really fast. So it's gonna carry vascular as well as strength. Then the last piece, we're gonna do punches into a verbi alternating. I got you. All right, here we go. Just your jabs, hooks, and uppercuts. Go, jab, jab, hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut. Find your target and go. Jab, jab, hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut. When you're throwing those punches and you're stopping those movements, I will tell you, your upper body will feel it tomorrow. Okay, come on. What do you got? Use me as your target. I'm not offended. Come on. Push it. Such a good stress reliever right here. Exercise in general, right? It gives us those good endorphins, those feel good hormones. So I always feel better after the workout. Come on, five seconds, relax. Okay, let's all go um, right leg forward, okay? And that lunge. Well, we got some time yet, hold on. Take care of those legs for a second. <laughs> Okay, knee over the angle. I will show from the side eventually. You're here, guard up, let's go. Shoot right from the head. It's almost like a little bit of a lunge sprinter, but I want you to focus on still getting those biceps with the uppercut. 45 seconds here. Yeah, try to pace yourself. Show from the side, keep going. I don't want you to lean too far. So keep that upright position, shoot from the head. How's that lunge doing? I think I have to get a little lower. Knee over that ankle. Come on, all the way. I'm right here with you. 
Push it, you got 10 seconds. What can you do in 10 seconds? Right leg still forward. Finish it strong. Two, one. Woo. All right, we get to do the other side. I want it to be uneven, okay? That thigh is burning. Left leg forward, knee and line with the toe. Woo, okay, ready? Same arms. Get that burnout going for those biceps. You are strong, okay? Pick an affirmation here that's where you have to be like, oh, I'm powerful, right? I'm committed. I am resilient. When I get knocked down seven times, I stand that back up eight. All the way. 20 seconds to go. If you need to take a flash away, like I just need to, get back down in there and go. I know it burns. This is where you build mental toughness right here that serves you not only here in class, but out in your day. Go, 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 and rest. Whew, okay. Adding in hot feet, shuffle. If you can't, if there's not enough room for you, just do it in place into your burpee. And then you go the other side, shuffle punch. So you're getting those jabs right here. Let's see it. Two, one, let's go. Down. Five, six, seven, eight. Hands plant. Down and up. Other side. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Burpee. Again, you have that lunge back option. Let's go. Five, six, seven, eight. Hands plant. Back in and up. Other side. Five, six, seven, eight. Have a squat. Lunge. Yep. Other side. Eight. Four, three, two, one. Burpee down. In and up. Other side. Eight. Four, three, two, one, hands plant, down, in, hot feet, and rest. Nice job. Grab a drink. Next one, we're going to be on the floor, okay? We're going to work triceps. So with this first move, two options. There's a dip, and then you kick and kick, okay? You can reach for the kick if you like. If the hips are up, dip, lift, kick, and kick. A little bit harder there. Then you're going to flip over into a push-up. Press up, push up, knees your toes. Push up, up, hop on those toes, in, in, out, out, okay? Or if you're here, push up, up. You can tap and tap side to side as another option. I'll let you know what the other ones are, but we start with the tricep dip kick. Ready. Here we go. Tricep dip, kick, and kick. Or tricep dip, lift, kick. So you're almost in that, like that crab position there when you're doing the kicks. Reverse table hop. Woo! Balance. That's lifted. That could be a huge range of motion. That's okay. okay. I just want you to activate those triceps. You're going to get plenty of work here in this set. Down, up, kick, kick. Or lean back, lift, kick. As you kick, man, you're using some good core muscles there. 10 seconds. Get a few more in there. Flip on over into that tricep push up. Two more. Three, two, one. Nice job. All right, we prime those muscles. Pop on over. Okay, you're going to have your shoulders over your wrist. You're on those knees. You're here. And then you can pop up onto the toes. In and out, out. Or try that push up on your toes. All right. Here we go. Tricep dip. Or push up, rather. In, in, out, out, again. Push up, up, make sure your shoulders are over your wrist. In, in, out, out. Shoulder to feel like from those burpees. Get off that chest. In, in, out, out. Down, and up. Anytime you need that posture break, child's pose is a really good one in this position. Got it. Engaging that core. Your hips are right over those knees when you're in that bear call. It's like a climbing beam. Okay, under 10 seconds. How many more can you get in? Grab one from your toes. I'm going to go for it. Down. Up. Woo! Maybe some child's pose and that feels good. Now, you're going to stay in the plank position. Knees or toes. Plank. Up, downs. Okay, so I'm facing you. Down, down, up, up. Try not to face the camera because that's never good for your neck. So try to go in a side position. Here we go. 45 seconds. 
That way you can look to the side if you need to. I just look at my books. Down, down, up, up. What am I looking for in this position? Okay, sit off the chest, keep the hips nice and level. So not like a boat, but see your hips rock side to side. So nice and solid, okay? Now you're coming up on that halfway mark, you can switch the lead arm that you press up with. Now, know that plank is another great option here, okay? If you're on those knees and you can maintain the form, could you pop onto your toes for these last 10 seconds? Final effort. Then we're going to come up to stand. Rest. All right, this last move is more cardio. I want you to cross your arms like an X and then out like a jack. Or a thunderbird is to do like a little star jump with it. But it's more of the option to like, okay, activate those triceps. Ready? Here we go. So I'm going to start here. You can do a combination of both. Kind of always all the way to that top arm. Punch it back, right? Extend. Be really intentional. Maybe you want to get a couple of your Thunderbirds. Maybe you do two of these, two Thunderbirds. Yeah. Come on. Finish this setup. Gets a little bit more intense now that you add a little extra cardio right at the end. Your triceps have already been supporting your body weight. Okay, so that's gone, but they're still really fatigued. Push it back. 10 seconds to go. All the way. Come on. Final seconds. You just do a couple of those thunderbirds. Jump high. Two. Cross. Five right, down. Have a drink. One more set through your 45 second intervals. Okay. What does this look like? More cardio. Okay. Soccer run. So you're leading with your inner. Um, Arch of your foot, okay, here or here. Gets more intense by going into high knees. Yep, high knees. Then we're going to change the lever length, come down to those mountain climbers. I got one more move for you after that. Okay, let's give it a try. Here we go. Stack the run. Again, 45 seconds is how hard you got to work for or how long. Now, when you're doing these, I want you to emphasize your arms. I know it might feel silly, but the faster your arms go, the faster your legs go. Okay, this one isn't so much about the height of your knees. You're going to get to that next. I just want you to focus on leading out to the side. You're going to get some inner side work here. You're getting that cardiovascular system primed for the next moves. Up, up, up. 15 seconds to go. Like you're juggling a soccer ball. Ten. Final effort. Three, two, one. Woo! Hip flexors are going to feel it. Okay, now you're going to those high knees. You can try with a march or, yeah, get going like somebody's chasing you. Okay? And have that nose, out to that mouth. One, here we go. Here's your high knees or... We lift those knees up, up, up. Better holding my hands right in front of me because you hit that target. Lift, 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 lift. You showed up. Put in that work, okay? Physically, mentally. All right, you're just over that halfway mark. Could you pick up those knees? A little bit higher. Could you go a little bit faster? 10 seconds. Push, 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 push. Come on. Can you beat me? Let's go. I want you to beat me. I want you to be faster. All the way. Two, one. Okay. Mountain climbers. Now, shoulders aren't serving you today. Wrists. Stay for another round of those high knees. Otherwise, we're coming down to that mountain climb position. In that plank position, pulling those knees in. Get side. 45. Here we go. So, back and tap. At a somewhat fast pace, or I pick up that pace and I drive those knees. So much core work here, and then that cardio. Now, try to not let your shoulders like hike up to your ears. Can you intentionally press them away? Do you know what's that difference? Like here, press them away. Okay, get off the chest, pull, pull, pull. 20 seconds to go. Because again, I want you to trust me, intensity is varied in time. Keep working. 
10 seconds. Let's go all out right here. Go, go, go. So what you're made of right here. Three, two, one. Whew. One more. Again, your harder option. Donkey kick. Okay. So your hands plant. You're going to go donkey kick. I come up and deliver that squat jump or any three of the first moves. Get set. Here we go. Donkey kick. Come up. There you go. Donkey kick. Sometimes I do a little double hop. I can do one leg at a time, maybe like for four. Then pop up. Okay? You got it. Let's go. The shoulders over those wrists. The tough moves, use your core to kick those legs to your glutes. Let that head drop when you're in that donkey kick. You could also stay lifted and do like a little butt kick there. Squat jump. Yeah. Six seconds. Come on, you go more in. Finish it up. And rest. Whew. Nice effort. Great work. All right. We're going to come down for a little extra core. Sideline crunch. Getting those obliques a little bit more. Okay. 45 seconds. You're going to be here. You can do knees. Notice I didn't like pull it in. I'm more of like bent knee, lift to the side, harder, longer, lever. Okay. One time each side. Get set. Two, one. Okay. Let's finish it up. Shoulder over that elbow, knees bent, crunch. I'm almost a little bit like on my jean packet, crunch. Good, that's it. Or maybe you try longer lever. If pulling the knees in like so feels better for you this morning, go for it. Or this afternoon, whenever you're working here, you can take a longer lever with your arm overhead, and crunch, Ooh, yep. You can do the top leg, right? I could work just that top leg right here. Same with that long lever. What feels good to you? Just honor that. Couple more seconds, then we'll do the other side to finish it up. And fast, good. Switch it on over. Your final piece of work and we'll cool it down. Shoulder right over that elbow, chest lifted. I got my knees bent to start, just wanna Test out that lever leg. Ready? Here we go. Lift. Lift and crunch. <sighs> Inhale lower with control. Try not to like pop the legs down, right? The intention of lowering the legs down. Okay, after you try that lever leg, maybe like, I'm just gonna see what happens with that longer lever. Or let's break it down. Less of the weight of your legs by having the top leg go. Or that reach overhead, reach. You have 15 seconds of work. Finish it strong right here. Inhale, reach, exhale. Using those obliques right there. I just noticed my shoulder was kind of creeping towards my ear. Is that tall spine? And you're done. Nice job. Okay, from here, come on to your back. You're gonna pull one knee into your chest. Give a nice little hug. If you need a little extra time for that heart rate to come down, be mindful of coming to your back right away. Good. Bring that leg to the sky. Just stretch out those hamstrings, especially from the burpees that we did. Full circle. Good. From here, bend the other leg. Place it on top. Figure four. Because you did some squats and lunges. Okay. You can stay here or you can go behind that hamstring. Little ankle circle. Again, if somebody... Joined you, well, let me know. Always have someone to join you. It's, it's a lot of fun when you can do it with other people. Good. Let that leg go long, other knee into the chest. Find that hamstring stretch, press it to the ceiling, point and flex. Again, we did a lot of jumping, so those ankle circles always are nice for the joint. We'll go figure four on that other side, place it on top, gently pressing that top leg away. Sometimes I use this arm right here to press it. Nothing too intense. Try not to force your body into any posture. Just see where it'll go. Inhaling through the nose, out through that mouth. One more breath. 
bring the knees into the chest, maybe rock side to side, giving the back a little soft massage. And then rock up, maybe one or two times. I cross my legs, over into that tabletop position. You're gonna inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze. Exhale, round, look towards that belly button. Try that one more time. Inhale, drop. Exhale, round. One more stretch for the hip flexor here. One leg comes forward. Shift your weight forward. Try not to dip into the movement. So shift forward. Let's take that upper back stretch while we're here. Inhale through the nose, out through that mouth. Reach up. A little side bend stretch. Ooh, that feels good for that oblique and that front part of that thigh. Bring it back. Relax, release. Let's just go over to the other side real quick. Let's go hands behind the back to stretch out that chest. Tricep push-ups in there. We got the biceps, shoulders, triceps, muscle legs. Go reach the arm up just so we can take that side bend stretch towards the bent knee. Keep the balance. Good. Back to center. Relax, release. When you're able to, come on up into that standing position. Two breaths. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, let it go. One more time. Inhale, up. And exhale, release. Thank you so much for being here. Press that like button, comment below.